Hey YouTube fam, it's Chris Fit. After a year, yes, a year, a very, very long year, I am back. Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Chris and you're watching Chris Fit. Uh. <laughs> It's been a whole year. I'm sorry. I know I was supposed to post every week, but for a whole year I haven't been there, but I am back and I'm back strong. So I'm back in the park and my element. So I'm going to take today while I'm working out on the 4th of July on Independence Day to tell you what's been going on with me for this year and also give you my new goals to get fit, to get back in it. And I still want to meet that goal. I still want to lose that 50 pounds. Do you still want to lose whatever your goal is? Let's talk about it. All right, here I am at my local park in this beautiful lake, a little bit on this rocky bridge. It's a little scary, but it's absolutely wonderful and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy to be back out here. I figured I'd take a moment to let you know what's been going on with me for the last year. I was actually doing pretty well. I had did a diet where I had cut out a lot of carbs and I was also eating pescatarian. So I wasn't eating rice, I wasn't eating bread, I wasn't eating pasta. And also when it came to meat, I was only eating fish like salmon, mahi-mahi, tuna, and I lost 30 pounds in six weeks. I was doing so well. I was so happy. I felt so motivated. I felt wonderful. And then sadly when I stopped the pescatarian and stopped eating low carbs, I figured I'd gradually bring those things back in there. I quickly gained all of the weight back. <sighs> so sad. It really got me down. I wasn't feeling good and then I just stopped. I was like, I'm done, I'm frustrated, but now I'm back motivated. Sometimes we have setbacks and that's the thing that we have to realize in these journeys. It's not always gonna be perfect. Sometimes it's not gonna go exactly the way we want. But what I realized in that journey is that sometimes you just have to make sure you do something that you can stick to. Don't try those fad diets. Those fad diets are wonderful for the short term, but what ends up happening is once you can't stick to that diet anymore, you get to a point where you gain all that weight right back. So now I want to get back out here. I just want to watch my calories. I want to work out and I want to do it the healthy way. Do you want to do it with me? Come on, let's get out here. Let's be positive. Let's get motivated and let's lose some weight. And I know it's bright. I know I'm washed out, but it's okay. We're out here working out. <laughs> All right guys, let's get to walking. I'm pretty tired out here on the trails. I used to do a lot better than I'm doing now, so I feel a little bit bad. But you know what? It doesn't matter how bad you're feeling, the more you do it, the more you get her done, the better you'll feel. I'm all uphill trails right now. I don't know if you can tell, but this is all uphill. Woo! And it is hot. But I think a great thing to do for Independence Day is gain my independence back and get back on track for my goal. So I'm out here doing it. It's day one, over again. So day 2.1 or 1.2. <laughs> All right, I made it. I made it to the end of the trail I wanted to get to. And as you can see, there's a beautiful waterfall behind me. And I thought this was a great time to stop for a moment and tell you what made me motivated to get back in there and to get back on my journey to losing 50 pounds. So recently I went to the local art museum with my guy and he was taking video of me looking at different things and we were just being goofy taking video together. And when I looked back after we left and saw the video, I couldn't believe how big I looked in all of the images. It was just mortifying. And it just reminded me that I really wanna get back out here. I really wanna get healthy. And not just because of imagery, but also because diabetes runs really heavy in my family. My mom's pre-diabetic, my dad is diabetic, and my grandmother is diabetic. So for me, being healthy, eating right, working out is even more important. So thank you all for helping me on this journey. I hope you leave positive comments and help motivate me. If you have any success stories, please share and leave those. Please also like and subscribe. I would appreciate the support and I look forward to sharing my journey with you. And this time I'm gonna stay motivated. This time I'm gonna keep it up and I am going to make the commitment to post one video a week. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate it again. This is Chris Fred. We're here, Woo we're doing it.